shoes off. Make sure you're killing me. Oh, you can take them off. <laughs> yes. All right, Rebecca. All right, yes. Rebecca, well, where are you from originally? Where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in New York. I grew up partly in New York and um, partly in Paris for like a few years. Um, like I've traveled all over. Um, but I grew up on um, kind of Lower East Side and then I moved to Brooklyn for a bit. Um, I was a foster kid, so, you know. Tell me about your childhood. Um, you know, uh, New York is very exciting. And colors and, you know, really vibrant. It's not Annie, you know what I mean? You're just, you're living your life a certain way, you know, like I went to school and then eventually I dropped out and I kind of got into the party scene and I tried my hand at modeling. You know, you know, I wanted to travel, kind of like Ryan McGinley, but then I realized I loved the city too much, so. I, and yeah. what about your, your family, your parents? Oh, my parents are dead. Your parents are dead? Yeah, they, they died, like I was adopted kind of and then I mostly bounced around in foster homes. People didn't really want me because I was trans. Yeah, it was hard to find, like they call it placement, you know what I mean, in the system. And it was, like I used to get in a lot of trouble, do a lot of drugs, and you know, like they, they knew me for that. So, and eventually at 16, I just kind of like fucked off, I guess. So, you've been living on the street for how long? Uh, since I was 16, so kind of like mm, five, six years now. Yeah. Uh, so you're. I'm 22. 22. Yeah. And where do you stay right now? Kind of all over because I'm not really from LA. I had friends in Echo Park, so staying with them for a bit. And then I like being in East LA because there's more space. Like I'm around Skid Row because like it's a great place to get a bang out. And I got this this morning. Found this entirely on the floor and this cuff, which I love. Um, but I like East LA because there's more space. It's more expansive and there's kind of a bit more greenery. But like I'll kind of try and like hike into Pasadena and like pass. It, and someone's like, so you, you roam around. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I only really came to California because I wanted to go to Big Sur. I really, really have always wanted to go to Big Sur since I was a kid. I spent more time in um, Florida, um, kind of originally because I was on the East Coast. And, really and where do you where do you sleep at night? <laughs> you know, wherever. Yeah, it's it's not really important to me because if I'm asleep, I'm asleep. Um, I have some utilitarian. I don't know. I don't really care if I can find a blanket. I'm out. You know. And uh, what are you doing for money? Um, sometimes I do sex work. Sometimes I do kind of little modeling gigs. Sometimes I panhandle. You know, I just walk around honestly and bump smokes and <laughs> find, I don't know. Um, it's not that I serve myself. I want to have fun. I don't want something to get in the way of that. I'm not going to enslave myself to have fun. I'm young while I'm young. You know, in two years, I'll get an office temp job and get fat and you know, move to the suburbs. It'll be great for the next 500 years of my life. You know, I have like two good years of fresh young blood in me, you know. <laughs> And um, it's not easy in Hollywood to get a screen test as like a young trans kid and not get typecast, I guess. There aren't really roles or anything like that, so that's not how I'm geared. I'm just I'm having a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun, which I think intimidates a lot of people. What is your drug? Mm, MDMA, I guess, and party-wise. Mm, I mean, if I can afford it. I smoke a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes. And so, so I'd buy art. <laughs> do, you, do you get uh, hassled on the street? Mm, if I keep myself kind of yes and no. I don't really talk to a lot of people unless I explicitly like, kept them, you know? Um, sure, but not really. Not how I would have presumed. Like in New York, you know, people just say it like it is, you know what I mean? Someone punch you right in the fucking face, suddenly fucking you, you know what I mean? You get raped, you get raped. Here in LA, there's a lot of pretense and a lot of CCTV and a lot of people are like, I don't want to, you know what I mean? So you can kind of use that to your advantage. I guess it's the New Yorker in me, I just... And you've, you've been raped before? Why not? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm not a victim. People get raped. <laughs> you know? I'm happy I'm in one piece. I'm happy I didn't get my legs fucking chopped off after, you know? And so, so back to your family. You, your parents, what happened to your parents? Oh, they died. They died before I was born in car crash or something, I know. They died before you were oh, born? Oh, I mean, like, before. I mean, they died when I... Anyway. I don't really want to, if that's all right. Got it. Um... Do you have any family, siblings, anything like that? I have like sisters, you know what I mean? I have like a lot of sisters, like state to state. I have a lot of family. I have more like a coven, I'm a witch, so. I have my coven, They're my family. Do you ever talk to your family? Oh, my coven, of course, all the time. <laughs> Anytime I need that kind of, you know what I mean, I'm, it's there. I don't have to question it. It's beyond 
family, you know, family, it's great, you know what I mean, the American dream, you have mom and pops and, you know, visit the grandparents Christmas, great, all right, awesome. I need someone who's there for me when I'm having to explain to a cop that I'm on my period and so therefore I can't do a blood draw. Where is my vagina? Okay, let's go to the hospital again. Eh, you know what I mean? I have my witches. <laughs> my witches are my family. My witches are all the family I would ever need. <laughs> do you have any friends, Rebecca? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Where, where, where did you meet these friends? Anywhere. <laughs> Just on the street? Why not? It's not like that. You know, people have a presumption. I guess I'm wired a little differently. I don't know. I travel, so I meet people up, down, I don't know. I stayed at the Standard before, but the one in New York, not in L.A. Mm -hmm. The one in L.A. just opened. He was really, really small, misfixated, did a shit ton of Molly, and then I ended up in Queens, <laughs> under a bridge, <laughs> for four days. And you prefer L.A. to New York? No. <laughs> but I didn't know that until I came here. I really thought I was gonna, like, like, I, I understand the city. I guess it's just because I'm not, like, working. I'm not, like, looking for a script. and. I'm more of a model than an actress, so I'm not immediately, you know, I, I didn't realize it was so family oriented, which I understand, um, or like that the studio system was like, so I felt like an indie, like Greg Araki. No, I definitely prefer New York, but I love LA, I'm here, and it's different. Modern LA is different. There isn't as much, like, I don't know, people seem to really detest a certain sort of glamour, so people want to be more kind of like New York but laid back, and it's nice, yeah. How do you think uh, living on the street has, has affected you? I have great I have muscles now. Um, I, I can think on my feet more, and I'm way more resourceful than I ever thought I could. And I don't give half a shit, which I never thought was ever gonna happen to me. I never thought I'd love myself. It just made me realize, like, fuck yeah. I like, like, pull my shit together, and like, five minutes later, I'm just like, grabbing things, literally, like, off the, like, I literally just grabbed this lipstick and this wig. I saw this wig literally on a pile of trash clothes and I was just like, intercept the person living in the tent, intercept that they may have a knife, understand that there's so much stuff here, grab the wig and run, bitch. And literally, like, it's in my J-Lo moment. <laughs> so I rent J-Lo impersonator in Reno. I fucking love it, because why not? I'm free, <laughs> I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm young and I'm wild and I'm free. No, really, I, and I fucking love it. I really, really love it. I'm not suffering the way people want me to suffer. Like, yeah, I get hungry, I get freaking irritated, I want a cigarette, fine, ooh, I'm broke, okay. But, like, I'm, I'm really not, like, things aren't, this isn't our four, you know. These are very expansive towns. And so wh where, do you, where do you, like, eat? What do you, what do, you do for food or? Um, if I'm really hungry, I'll send outside. Like, if I'm to that point, I'll send outside at McDonald's and just be like, can someone buy me something? Um, or you can drop in, get food places. I don't know. It's LA, no one really eats, right? I mean, you can just ask someone for the rest of their fucking sweet greeners. You can ask people for leftovers. And I don't, like, again, it's not about, like, at that point, it's not about necessity. Like, I'm not, you know, this isn't Detroit. <laughs> like, the, 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 there, there are things around here. There are resources around here. There are people around here. You know what I mean? Yeah. There, 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 there are celebrities around here who you can, you know, Chit chat very nicely for uh, a cigarette, I guess. One story I love. I'm at Adwa Abwa on the beach. She was shooting for W Magazine, seven in the fucking morning, and I was like coming down hard. I'd just gone out of a rave. I ran up to her. I'm like, Adwa, I fucking love you. She gives me a hug. She gives me a smoke. Security. <laughs> I'm like, I love that experience. And thank you for that. And I said, I love famous people. I fucking love famous people. I keep trying to meet Tori Spelling, but Tori Spelling is very hard to find. I love Tori Spelling. I love Rachel Spelling. So you're down here in Skid Row today for what? Oh, um, for um, clothes. I come to Skid Row for clothes. <laughs> I come to Skid Row for clothes, then I go downtown for cigarettes. And then from there, I kind of start to meander around for whatever it is. Eventually, I just get lost. You know, just immediately, I know. Skid Row clothes, downtown smokes. <laughs> Skid Row, you don't get smoke from anyone. No one fucking likes you. No one wants to like you. You don't know them. They don't know you. Good for you. Grab shit off the floor. Put it on. Look at yourself. Go downtown. Immediately attempt to, to schmooze. All right, Rebecca. I mean, well, thank you so much for talking to me. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. And good luck out there. Thanks. Yeah. Did I just pay forty bucks? You did. You're not gonna give me an iTunes gift card, are you? Please, because I really don't want to go cash those. They still give those out. And... Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much for this opportunity. You're really beautiful, actually. <laughs> you photograph beautifully. I've, I've shot before. I shot, I shot, I shot for Mark Jacobs once. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm very beautiful, honestly. I feel like I'm, you know, you know, you know, like you know how people like think. I don't know. 
like the, the weird one, you know what I mean? Like the, like the one with the little fucking like giant forehead. You know? Yeah, I feel like that. Where do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an Olsen. A what? I'm obsessed with the Olsen twins. Oh. I wish I could be like them one day. <laughs> They're so cool. They're the coolest ever. And I love how they dress. They're very fashionable.